Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another movie Q&A, movie chat, movie talk, whatnot. And uh, I'm here with my buddy, Danny Ambrosi, the king of chaos. And uh, well, hi, Danny. Hold on, hold on. I, I got a few, I, I got a YouTube on, wait a minute. Oh, you got two things on? Yeah, no yeah, more. Yeah, you got to shut off everything but yeah. StreamYard. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. We're still waiting for people to arrive. Oh, yeah, so there's somebody. Hello, Matchstick Man. This is uh, Hello. another one of these movie uh, get-togethers. See how much we can get movie-wise going with people. Maybe in the comments, maybe. Well, anyway. Oh, people are showing up. People are showing up. Yeah, yeah. I had Jack Nicholson as a special guest. They're coming fast. <laughs> yep. It's after it's after midnight in Europe. Wow. One thirty AM. Oh, wow. Good I'm evening. Back. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, good hey afternoon. Danny, let me show you something here for 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 posterity. Now we talked about your the <coughs> excuse me, the famous Danny notebook. You mind that watch you? No. Go ahead, Joe. Well, hello, there's uh, Mrs. Danny. <laughs> Hello, and I got my notebooks here, right? And I started yeah. them. I started them. I'll show you. First, I have my green one. This green one is for horror and science fiction, right? There you and go. It's just, it's just a sample there of stuff that I got there. You know, there's a... Uh... Enlarge yourself. Yeah, yeah I should do that. Yeah, well, you I'll can. do it anyway. Sure. Just to make, just yeah, to make people it. happy. There you go. Yeah. yeah, that's one way to do it. Yep. Yeah, I made a at little. Least, and you see it down there on the bottom. I got a triple feature disc down there. Three. I can find what disc they're on. Three movies on one disc. Triple feature disc. And this yeah. is just a list to help me, like you said, you know, not to locate where my movies are because my movies are all alphabetical. I can find them on the shelves alphabetically. But this right. is just when I'm hanging out in the living room and I say, let's see, what do I feel like watching tonight? Okay, what do I got? Just to know what's on the shelves. Right, right. That's, right. that's all that is. Let's do a little of this. Uh, uh, this is this book here. It has everything else. Comedy, drama, action, nice. westerns. Oh, there and, you go. And for this yeah. book, what I did was this. See, next to it, I put drama. They're mostly drug comedy. Oh, nice. Some like it hot. Oh, drama, yeah. comedy. Yep. So I, I could say, like, if I want to say, like, well, what do I got? When I feel like watching comedy tonight, I'll look at the comedy sides. Very smart, Joe. Yeah, that's Very a great smart, idea. Very smart, Joe. I never thought about that, but. Yeah, that is a good that's idea. It. Yeah, so I had fun with that. Yeah, you'll get it done. It takes time. Oh yeah, a little bit, a little bit at a time for sure. You know, you know it, it can get difficult because I have an example. This, this right here is nothing bad. It's uh, you know, those cheap movies. You know, there's, there's yeah. thirty, there's uh, thirty-two movies on here, right? Right. See all the movies on there. Sure, sure. You know, so I don't, I don't document them all. I should have because, you know, maybe I won't think about going to this collection, but uh. I was looking at these movies. There are a lot of interesting ones that I want to watch, you know. So uh, I, I just documented as a collection, you, you know. Yeah. And I'm yeah, say, it, putting putting people I, up here just to say hello. That's all. Hi, Penny Lane. How are you? Hello, everybody. Hello. Thanks for tuning in. And I have the time to do that, that's for sure. Well, thanks, Beetle Lady. Yeah, I still have a nice handwriting. There's not that yeah, much to, to write these days, you know, but... Uh... Hello, Marcus. It's yeah, great. but I have to put... I had to put him here for uh, the movie channel live stream. Hi, and, Marcus. Uh, you know, as I say, though, I, I, I was able to do... So far, the movies I mostly did were the ones that are in the other room. I was able to pull up a chair... Put it, I have a snack table. I put the snack table down. And I write in a snack table on a snack table, and then I just want these here. I was trying to do standing up, and yeah. it wasn't fun. 
It wasn't fun because of standing up no. and holding the notebook like this open yeah. and then trying to write while standing. It just wasn't. I got to figure a way to. I'm going to have to take them all down. <clears throat> the snack table is a good idea. You need a hard surface to yeah. write on. Otherwise, you know, the page is going to bend and your writing is not going to come out, you know, decent, oh, yeah. you know. And then you stand up, you know, after a while you get tired, you know. Yeah, it was, you know, I don't want to say it was taking a toll on me. I don't know what it was. Like, why was that, like, stressful? Like, I was pulling, like, you see the top? I got, like, a row behind each. Yeah. I was pulling out, like, five and then looking in and seeing a five behind and then trying to write and then put it back, uh -huh. pull another five and look behind. It was really a pain yeah. in the butt. And I'm so yeah. glad here to see Mike here. This is a great channel, all your movie people. He's a great guy and a great channel. Great 1951. Happy Easy. New Year. Happy Hello. New Year. And Mike, anytime you're ready, one day, one of these days, not tonight if you don't feel like it, but anytime you want to come up and say hello, it would be great to have you to join in the conversation. That's all I could say. That's right. No pressure. Uh, what is this? There is a new horror movie coming out this weekend called Night Swim. It looks okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> It does look okay, but I, I love my horror, so I'm going to watch it. Yeah, that's that's what I like. That's what I like. Women who like horror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. my horror <laughs> Yeah, I, I brought out a couple things, you know, to show. What do you got? Oh, wow. I just, wait a minute. Uh, is that the one I have? I don't know. I think I have that one. You might. I think I do. I think I just got it. Yeah, I do have that. Absolutely. Yeah. Mario Bava, hey, oh. Italian. Yeah, Italian, Italian director. Yep. And yeah. uh, this is this will be up uh, Tim's alley, I think. Yeah. Film yeah. noir. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It, it would be up. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. Eh? Yeah, I think that yeah, Tim Allen loves film noir. Maybe he'll be here. Who knows? Maybe. We'll find and out. Then, uh, I have a collection like this. Oh, they're my favorite. Uh -huh. These are called... What What these, kind of these, films are they called? These are called Eight Maybe. Films to Die For. Oh, wow. It was a series. It was a series. Oh, yeah. After Dark... Hey... After Dark Horror Fest. That's a good title. <laughs> yeah. Good. I got a new title coming. It's not, uh, not uh, her, can you not tell me what it one. is? What it is? <laughs> no, no, no you know, I know you're not going to tell anybody. That's okay. Oh, the name of the channel. Oh, no, no. I'm yeah, not going to save that. And it's no big deal. Out of all the channel names I had, this is going to be the most boring. But I just, I just think... I yeah, I will, so. I'll explain it when the day comes. It's what you make out of it, Joe. It's the content. We, we, yeah. You know, that's what people are looking for. I you know, Jazz. Know. <laughs> there it goes. Yay. Archie. I love you, Joe. Joe, I'm here again. <laughs> huh? Joe. You're here again. You know what, my... Joe, we want to tell you something. Uh oh. Uh -oh. We it? all have had our cup of tea for the day. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm drinking tea now, Mullen tea. Yeah, I'm I still have, I still have water here tonight for tonight, you know. Just drink my cup of water. The big sleep. Yeah, well that big sleep it never makes any sense that movie, but apparently nobody minds that it doesn't make any sense. It's still a very enjoyable classic. Anyway, with Bogart. You can say goodnight if you want. Good night, Joe. I'm gonna good go night. in my room and watch my horror movies. <laughs> okay, Robin and Joyce. Let us give us a report. Okay. You know, it's yeah. funny because because every night every night when I, when I go when I go to bed because she goes to bed after me. <laughs> to me, it sounds like she's watching the same movie over over and over again because I hear screaming and crashing <laughs> and stuff like that, and she swears it's not the same movie. So, <sighs> yeah. Wow. But she likes those horror movies, you know. Yeah. I what's not to like? I don't like them. I love horror. She loves them, you know. Yeah, Joe, I, I was thinking, you know, uh, it's very important that you write everything down because when you got 2,000 movies, right. you're lucky if you can remember 400 of them. 
Right. You don't always don't remember everything you have. Right. And, and, and out of sight, out of mind. So you get the book, like you said, mm-hmm. and I like the way you put drama, comedy, this way. You, you don't have to read down the whole page. You, you, you read, you know, what kind of movie it is. Drama, you, yeah. you know, comedy, this and that. It makes it a lot easier. Joe, Joe, I might have to copy your idea. Oh, I love it. As much as it kills me. <laughs> Why? Well, get an idea from oh. me. Joe, Joe, good system, Joe. And yeah, you've been I, think a- that, I think that's cool. Then you can just look real quick and say, okay, I feel like watching a, a comedy today or something. And just go, comedy, yeah. Go, yeah, comedy or what, comedy there. What's that? You know, yeah. unless you have them in separate books or pages, you know. But that, yeah, you know, if if, if you know what you want to watch, it's no big deal. You, you don't need the book. But right. if you're undecided, you know, that you right. got the book right there, you sit down for a few minutes. And you pick your movie. Yeah, and mine's not. And my, I've told people, and I've told, I've said this on other my other channel, but and my movies and my books are not alphabetical. I don't need them to be alphabetical because I have them alphabetical on the shelves. Right, right. I just, I just need to know what I have at a touch. Right, very good system, Joe. Yeah, I'm, no, pr- so. I'm proud of you, Joe. Joe, oh, you were, yo, oh, you were the inspiration. I used to do things like that all the time when I was younger, but I haven't done that in a long time. And then I saw your notebook, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get into something like that. Yeah, there's a, there's, there's a movie here. I, I don't know where I, – I don't know. I think that stuff floats in my house because I have no clue where this came from. It, it, it's it's a movie, you know. Yeah. Do you have it? No, I don't have it. I don't even, know, where it, I, I don't even know what this movie is. How do you and she say? Said, and she's saying, do you have it? I got it in my hands. How do you know you don't have a movie that you have? No, I said Get it? I didn't buy that movie. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a different story. I don't know how you, you know, have it there. You know, she I, she got a dust more often because the, the movie got a lot of dust. <laughs> Joe, and Joe, then. Joe, it's a tough life, Joe. Yeah, life's not easy. Well, that Retire- retirement is good, everybody. Yeah, you gotta have time. You gotta have retirement to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. You need the time. But that's something I could do maybe after this. I could say, what the hell? People, some people suggested, you know, taking a photograph of these rows and then going, sitting down in the living room at a table with the photograph and looking at and writing them down, you know? But yeah. that's, okay, that's okay for the front. But the back, I still got to take, take the yeah. front off. Yeah, naturally. Yeah, but, that, you know, that, that, that wasn't a bad idea, you know? What, the photograph? Yeah. Yeah, I just might bring them in the other room, but that'll be uh, it's gonna be messy. But yeah, we'll see. I, I can do the, the front table. rows, but I have to sit down at the table. I have to sit down. Yeah, I, I use the kitchen table. I, I cleaned everything off. You, you know, like a fruit bowl, a couple of things, sugar bowl. I took everything off, and I I piled, I piled movies up like the Empire State Building, and I just grabbed anyone. And I started to document. What, one second, hold on. Yep, private conversation going on there, folks. Yeah, I, I think maybe has to go to the bathroom outside. Okay. But Robin will take care of it. But anyway, that's the way I did it. And I, I don't know how long it took me. I, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. But uh, I got. I got behind on CDs. I got maybe eight, nine hundred CDs. Mm-hmm. I, I got to put on index cards. You know, I, I got to be in the mood, you, you know. Uh, you, you know, the, I, I need a magnifying glass because I, I like to put down the, the year the CD came out. Yeah, I know we're not talking about music, but I, I need a magnifier. I can't see anything, you know. But um, the movies, I got some to do yet, you know. Mm-hmm. Someday I have the shelves and I, I won't worry about the numbers, you know. Uh-huh. But... <clears throat> Very nice, Joe. You did a good job. Uh, the person, uh, Harold, the person you mentioned is no longer a part of the stream. And as far as the other people go, um, I don't really know. You know, Tom, I know Tom's working. Tom Hunyadi's working. He's not available. And, and I don't know where Tim Allen is. Oh, wait, oh there he is. What there do you he... know? Look at that. What do you know, Tim Allen? I didn't know you were doing this. No, well, yeah, well, I'm glad you found out because I, I put up the... Um, I just I just put it up. 
for everybody. Um, and, and I'm glad you were able to make it. Now, the film noir set, you, you didn't happen to see that, did you, Tim? There's a film noir set that Danny showed. That, uh, you have that? Or ever heard of this? I can blow it up for you if you like. What? I'm sorry. No. <laughs> film noir. Collect Deadly Dames film noir. No. And then you got to show the titles. You had the titles. Yeah, I had the titles. Uh, you know, he's the naked kiss, slightly scarlet. What does that say? And blonde ice. Right. Blonde ice. I may have seen blonde ice. The other two, I don't know. There are so many films. I'd love to see every film noir film ever made, but oh, it's, it's just it's, so many. There's plenty. There's plenty of them. There's thousands. I got more. In the future, if you ever want, if you ever have anything to show, you could show things too. You know, if there's anything yeah. you like. Well, just I, I just went and got. I just went and got something because Danny was showing about a boy, which is a film written by my favorite author, Nick really? Hornby. And my the latest movie I picked up for a buck at my thrift store is is this. I haven't seen the movie. I read the book, but called A Long Way Down and it's written by Nick Hornby same guy that wrote about a boy who also wrote um, I don't know what's the name of that movie um, High Fidelity High Fidelity that's Nick Hornby yeah. as well John Cusack. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. Nick Hornby as well this is an interesting premise I don't know if the movie's good I haven't seen it but this movie four people accidentally meet on the top of a very tall building and they all went up there for the same reason, and that was to jump off the building. Oh, that's an interesting way to meet each other. Yeah. And they all talk each other out of it, and then, you know, it, it moves on from there. But it's an interesting premise um, for a book and a movie. Nice. So, yeah. But anyway, I like About a Boy. It's not, it's not the best Nick Hornby movie, but it's good. I can I, I don't Hi. Know what oh, <laughs> <laughs> the little delay here. Delay You know, it gets keep movies. Am I on a delay? Uh, not that I know of. Tim, how many fingers do I have? I have that. <laughs> you have that? You want a delay? Two. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you just... You're ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. <laughs> you want me to go out and come back? Tim, what's your first name? <laughs> you have to think about it a minute. I know. Yeah, there's a very slight delay. I don't know what it is, why that is, but yeah, I don't know. I can, I I could go out and come back if you want. Uh, well, let's try. We got nothing to lose except you if you can't get back. But let's try. It's really annoying. All right, I'll I'll, I'll come back. Okay. It sounds all right to me. You're just a slightly delayed. That's all. It sounds it sounds fine. He's just he's processing it. Wait. Let's see what happens. All right. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Tom, I said Tom Hanyadi is working. You know, that's a shame because he used to be off Tuesday nights when I was doing these most of the time, and now he's uh, working. So, or change a day to a different day. Hey, is this Adam? Adam, I have, if that's you, I haven't heard from you in a while. What's going on? All right. Let's bring Tim back. Hey, Tim. Am I any better? Well, let me ask you this question. How many fingers do I have up? Five. That's not bad. <laughs> Tim, what's your first name? Um, Tim. <laughs> what's, what's this guy's over here's first name? Danny. Okay, see, I just want to see how fast the answer comes in. That's all. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, Tim, Tim, you have this one? Yeah, oh, I have how many that. Times you're going to show that risque cover? No, no, no I was asking. <laughs> you had it. Yes, I love oh, stuff okay. like that. Yeah, I, I do the cheap movies, but you know, you know, this is like eight dollars. It was like eight dollars. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of really good movies in there, actually. Yeah, you get a couple of movies that are good. It's, it's worth the eight dollars. Yeah, that's right. You know, the only it's thing, good. the only, the only thing is they're stacked. 
they, they, they're stacked. Well, that's they, they, they got they're in sleeves each one. That's a pain. That's that, that's okay. I mean, I don't I don't uh, mind that. You, then you're not hurting your movies, and you know it's a cheap way to do it. Would you rather have them not stacked and pay forty bucks for it? I wouldn't. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Those are your options, you know. Right. Yeah. Stack them. Stack away. I don't care. You see, it's good we have Tomas. You have the knowledge. And I love talking about all this type of stuff, you know, about movies themselves, but also how they're stacked on a, on a spindle, <laughs> how many box sets you got, how do you how yeah. do you write, how do you rank. Uh, Find your movies, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Tim, do you document? Do you, do you do you have a system where you document or alphabetical order? Neither. <laughs> <laughs> I send out a search per party if I want to watch a movie. Um, yes. a, a lot of my movies, a lot, probably 25, 30%, maybe even more than that, I don't know, are in actually in notebooks. So those are in, they're not in strict alphabetical order, but the A's are together and the B's are together. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, um, but other than that, they're not, the rest of them are in no order. And I quit doing that a few years ago. So everything uh -huh. since is not in any order whatsoever. So you guys like the big sleep? What, what is that, a movie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. yeah. It's, it's a Humphrey Bogart film noir. Yes, I like the big sleep. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think you better ask me what my name is. Yeah. I think you We don't always know the same things. If Tom's on here, forget it. He runs circles. The thing about Tom is, you know, he knows about all kinds of things and knows all these movies. He has a big, big, varied taste. Except when it comes to horror, I got him beat. Yeah. He knows directors, producers. He knows all that stuff. You know, that's just too much for me. Tim is pretty knowledgeable, but it, it, he likes the older movies, like the 40s, 30s, 40s. Yeah. He likes that stuff, you know? So Yeah, yeah I like the old stuff, too. I, mean, I, I, re I remember that, MC. I, I can't remember if I downloaded it or not, so I'm going to write it down again. <laughs> I wrote it down once. And I'll check to see if I downloaded it or if I didn't. Yeah. Writing it down right now. Got to write your movies down. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, but I'm also thinking, though. Uh, wait a minute. I also want to put my TV. Here's the thing. And this notebook here. Let me blow this up again for fun. Okay. For misery. Take your pick. Yeah. All right. Now. So I started listing like non horror stuff, comedy, right, drama, right. yada yada yada. Now the thing is, mm -hmm. I want to go to TV. And I thought I'd look for where the right there in the middle where where you can easily get it. Gotcha. With the stitches in there. Right. And I'm thinking like I wonder if that's too much. Wow. See now there's all like greasy stuff on this page. I bet you my hands were like. Anyway, um. But I don't know if that's too much TV space, you know, and not enough. Uh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what you have. You know, I have a separate notebook. I have yeah. a separate one for TV shows. Yeah. Thank you very much, Adam. I appreciate that. Nice of you to say that. Thank you. That's Adam. Hello, Adam. I know Adam. Hey, Adam. And I keep track of the movies that I watch. I don't keep track of where my movies are and blah, blah, blah. But when I keep track of the movies that I watch, I actually do it by the year of the movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, that just makes it easier for me to put them in chronological order. So then if I want to see if I watch the movie, I just quickly go to IMDb, see what year it came out, and then I go, okay, nope or yes. You know, because all my 1936 movies will be together in a little bit run so I can find them. Nice. Yeah. Quickly. It works for you. Good. Yeah. So you know. Let's say there's 20 and and I'm still deciding what move, what segment of movies I'm going to watch this year to try to get to 100. I, watch movies from 2020. No, I'm not going to watch <laughs> movies from 2020. God, I'd shoot myself. But I, I'm thinking just I did black and white last year. I might just do color. Although the first movie I watched this year was black and white. I thought it was color. I put it in. I'm like, oh, I'm going to watch my first color. And it was black and white. I'm like, oh, oh. 
<laughs> it doesn't count. I watched over 250 black and white movies last year. That's a lot of movies. Yeah, I heard you say that before. I think maybe on Doc's channel or maybe uh, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, that's a lot of movies. That's in addition to other movies that I watched. I watched a lot of movies last year. I won't be watching that many this year. Try Technicolor. It just won't happen. Yeah. Well, Joe, you're on your way. Huh? Writing everything down. You know what you have. Well, you know, I just got to put content up pretty furiously. I got to put a lot of content up. You know, I want to keep things going with the movie channel, you know. So. Yeah, of course. I, I, I got into it for a while in October ish. For Halloween, I put a lot of stuff up. But I want to keep it going. It shouldn't be that hard, really, to put to put a, a, a little five minute review up every day. But the thing is, am I going to keep on putting in scenes from the movies? I haven't got any like anybody said anything one way or the other about it. I don't even know if I'll bother doing that anymore. You know, it, it takes yeah. some time to do that. Put the scenes in, photos, but. Yeah, I, I seen you do that, you know, and I said, wow, you learned because I, you were having trouble. You couldn't figure out how to do it. And I said, he, he got it. I said, he, you know. Oh, yeah, that's easy enough, but I, that's just still photos, you know. Yeah, that's yeah, really, yeah. That's really not that hard. To, that's not that hard. It takes a little more time. It's not hard. It just takes a little more time. Right. You know, so, um, eh, and then we'll see what, you know, what I start watching. You know, pull some titles that I haven't seen before, maybe. Yeah. Instead of always going for ones I know. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, uh, right. yes, four to 5,000 films I've recorded over the last 20 years. There were 10 400-disc binders. Wow. You know, that's another thing. People do that, too. They put they get binders, and they put it in the binders. You know? Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff in binders, but I just I stopped. Yeah, I don't use loose leaf paper because it, it it can tear you know, the holes can tear easy, you know. But they have those they have those things those things that yeah. you can put there. Yeah, yeah I, don't know what I wouldn't be surprised if they make them reinforced now. They might. They might you can call Stables for that. Ask the question. Yeah, I was there. I, you know, I was looking around. They had different things there. I was thinking, do I get a loose leaf binder? And then I said, no, I'll just get one of those those kind of notebooks. It has, it has some, you know, like I said, it, it's made, to, it's flexible, you know. Because and, and, in our day, when we were kids, these were really hard. These cardboard things were really solid. <laughs> you couldn't really. Yeah, and, and my, and my uh, from using it like that, you see? Yeah, look at that. You got to get. I, I'm sorry. You have to rewrite. I demand that you rewrite the whole thing. I'm going to. I'm going to. I don't know this movie. Get a Ed piece Russell's of tape. <laughs> get a piece that, of tape. I, I don't know <laughs> Crimes of Passion. But well, I know it. That's a Pat Benatar album. Oh, yeah. That's what Robert <laughs> said. It's a duct tape. Get a piece of duct tape. Yeah, but is it just the cover that's like that, or is it like yeah, the that's all? No, 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 there's, there's no rip pages. No, you know, but yeah, I could duct tape it. You know, Joe, get, you, no get yourself a Partridge Family book cover and put it on it, and then you'll be good. <laughs> yeah, right. I was thinking too. They had a Partridge Family uh, uh, marathon on New Year's Day. Somebody I got you. Good. good. I got that TV show. It's not bad. I like the, I like the music in it. I don't know. I bought the first season, though. I still have it in this drawer, and I could. I wasn't getting into it. I like it. It's. I like it so much better than its competition. <laughs> uh, I like the Brady Bunch, but then again, the Brady Bunch I, doesn't hold up these days either. Brady Bunch is so twee, and the Partridge Family is much less. You, you know, the, the Partridge mm. Family is based on the, the castles, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, we I disagree. Like I say, the Brady Bunch is not a musical show. They had some musical episodes, but they no. not, it's not a musical. The show is. The Parsons family kids. isn't really a musical show either. Once you get into part way into the first season, I mean they're they're always doing a, a song at the end, but 
it's not really a musical show. It's a show about the family who happen to be musicians. Yeah, well, yeah. actually, Mark, I have a, uh, I have yet to meet anybody from the Saw franchise. And the only one really I'd want to meet is Tobin Bell. I think anyway, if he if he was ever at a show, the main guy, Jigsaw. I know. A woman, yeah, yeah. You, you need a boiler, a furnace, yeah. Of course, you're five, six grand. Yeah. Yeah, I kept rid of that because it wasn't movie related, but it's alright. Yeah. That's all right. I was I would I would have sympathized with you, Woodland, but this ain't like anything goes like hang loose mayo lounge thing. Yeah. This is more like movies, although there hasn't been that many movie questions, so there have been some. I wonder if there could be any and I noticed that uh Henry's not here today to ask the usual questions. So uh maybe he'll show up later. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, I only plan on doing this for like another hour anyway, which is a good amount of time. And I don't know if I'll make this because it's starting next Tuesday. I'll be back at that classroom on Tuesdays. And, mm -hmm. you know, I still hate doing them from my phone. I, I, yeah, you know, it sucks. I like this all night. Yeah. And everybody complains about your finger. They don't realize that you have to do that. <laughs> I get the mouse here. I don't have a mouse. I never used a mouse. Well, Matthew, I I haven't seen a lot of movies. I don't see a lot of new movies, but I love Godzilla minus one. <coughs> it's the best Thanksgiving. movie. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, I like Thanksgiving, and I like Saw Ten. Yeah. Uh, I I really disliked Exorcist Believer. Um, but the, you know, most of what I saw was and I saw some other movies too. I don't know if I'm. Did I see a man called Otto this year? I don't know if that was this year. That was this year, I think. Yeah, get that. Yeah, I don't know. Burn offerings. I think I. I think I tried it, and I was. No, maybe it's a, no, no. Burn offerings. I have to see yet. That's right. I'm thinking of the burning. I didn't really like the burning as much as I expected to. I get it mixed up with burnt offerings. Savini did all the uh, all the uh, special effects in the burning. Yeah. Yeah, there's a scene. A, there's great. a scene with a raft. There's a scene with a raft. You know, that's great. Yes, I'm certainly going to get the Blu-ray of Godzilla minus one. Absolutely, no doubt about it. I'll tell you an interesting thing we can bring up now that I find hard to believe. You know, my mom in Florida, who's 83, she she had a TV for like 16 years or something. It finally went. So she wanted to buy a new one, and she picked up a Samsung 55-inch TV. Mm -hmm. And she tells me as they were putting it in for her, they said, this doesn't take DVDs. Like You can't play this through this. And I said, they got to be wrong, unless, th unless they do make models these days that don't have inputs or something like that. I gotta be an H everything uses HDMI. There's got to be an HDMI. Yeah, so I have a very hard time believing that. Yeah, no, I don't know no. why the guy would tell her that. Maybe. May, is her DVD player old enough where it doesn't have an HDMI? And maybe he was just telling her that her DVD player didn't work with it? That's think, a possibility. I, I didn't get that, that feeling out of it. But... No, I mean, every TV has ports. You need ports. If you're yeah. streaming, if you're doing, every TV has ports. I mean, it might not have RCA ports, but it's going to have ports. Uh, I got the yeah. RCA ports. I agree with this. Uh, great storytelling in Godzilla Minus One. Yep. The kind of film Hollywood has forgotten how to make. That's why we let the Japanese do it. Yep. No, no. Uh, I haven't seen a Hollywood film in years, at least a mainstream Hollywood studio film. Not interested. Uh, okay, I thought Bird Offerings was similar to The Shining. What is your favorite snacks and drinks while watching movies? Funnily enough, I don't snack when I watch movies. And when I go to the theater, I rarely, my whole life, I rarely get snacks. It's, I'm there to watch the movie, not to snack, and uh, you know, but... Yeah, you know, I don't know, but I should do that. I think if I did that at home, like if I had like popcorn or something, maybe I could keep from like falling asleep. Yeah, myself. popcorn is good. You know. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't know what's up with this TV. I think I just I can understand her, my mother making a mistake and not realizing how to do something. But for the guy to tell yeah. her this, that's kind yeah. of strange. Like I said, if she has a DVD player still from like the '90s or early 2000s, then it might not have an HDMI. Yeah, I don't think I don't. I, I didn't get the impression. That's what he meant. Yeah. General, but other than that, I don't. I don't get it. But even if it doesn't, you can get an HDMI. You can get an adapter, RCA to HDMI. Well, that's why. I'm just wondering. Yeah. She doesn't know enough to tell me about yeah. to explain. Yeah. But she could, I was just wondering if maybe they have, like, TVs right now, brand new, that if you wanted, you could get it uh, without, uh, you know, uh, any kind of ability. Like, you just it's just streaming or something. I don't know. But you need... You need they, ports anyway well well adam if that's really you adam we're not going to talk about that stuff here okay so let's not discuss that i gave you the opportunity to come up and you didn't want to come up and it might not even really be you so let's uh we're not going to go farther than that with this all right um well, I mean, even even to your cable or your box or whatever is an hdmi import the same as your dvd player would be so i don't really understand that you can't unless you just the only thing you could do is stream without any inputs. You couldn't do anything else. You could only stream with it. Mm -hmm. If it can yeah, be hooked up to cable, then it can be hooked up to a DVD player. Tim, I'm glad you mentioned that you, you, you can get an adapter from RCA to HDMI. Yeah. Because the, cur the, the current TV set I have, it, it's, I don't know, 10 years old, Toshiba, mm -hmm. as the RCA. But I, I got VHS players. If this TV burns out and I get another one, and if it doesn't have the RCA jacks, then I can't use your yeah. VHS player. But yeah. I'm glad you, I didn't know or they that. A better thing to do, if, if you can find one on the cheap, is to get like um, a DVD recorder uh -huh. and run your VHS into the DVD recorder and then run um, oh. an HDMI out of your DVD recorder into your TV and what that will do is upscale your picture and make it look a little better while it's converting oh, the signal. Tim, thank you, Tim. So, that's what I do. That's what I do with my laser disc player. You just you don't have to do anything with it except turn it on. Whenever you're okay. watching your VHS or whatever, it has to be on. Other than that, nothing else. Just okay, thank you very much. Power has to be on. I was because I, I want to connect my VHS because I, yeah. I have a lot of yeah. them too, you know. And I, I have stuff on there you, you can't find, you know. TV uh, Flip Wilson uh, was a marathon at Flip Wilson show, uh, it was like six hours. Uh, I think I used two tapes. I I, I ran a slow slow uh, speed, you know, extended play, so you get six hours, you know. Yeah. And I, I got two of them full, and I love Flip Wilson, you know. So. Ah, uh, good old days. Yeah. Well, somebody's asking well, what the most expensive DVD or Blu-ray you guys bought. I, I can't, me, I can't remember now. I can't. I never, I've never spent a lot on a. On a... Mine was a hundred dollars. I got a Sony. I have a Sony. Talking no, about. No, I think he means a movie itself. I don't think he means a player. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think the most expensive Tim spent was five bucks, wasn't it, Tim? <laughs> no, no. I, back, back in. Probably, you know, like, I mean, it would have been a DVD, but probably like the Beatles anthology is probably the most I ever spent on. It could know. have been 20 Oh, that's true. That's a, that's a good one. That was a good Yeah, one. that's probably the most I ever spent was yeah. like 80 yeah, was bucks expensive. on the Beatles anthology or whatever it was. I have that on VHS, you know. It was, at the time, it was, it was $99. Yeah. I, I have it. I played it once. I, I have it on. I have it on DVD, and I have it on Laserdisc. I love the Laserdisc. It's just such a yeah, cool yeah. thing. Yeah, I never owned one. Never had one. But I might get the. I might get it on uh, if they have it on DVD. They don't have it on Blu-ray, right? No, it's never been out on Blu-ray. I hope DVD. someday I they do. It. But looks like fifty dollars now. It might be fifty dollars. I don't know. You could. You should be able to find it used on eBay pretty cheap if yeah, you're looking that's, that's for true. it. That's true. Well, anyway, yeah, I have. Uh, uh, Daddy, Daddy, when the comments come up, man, 
try to keep on top of him. That's all I'm asking. You. I'm, I'm still an apprentice, Joe. Joe, I told you this before, but I forget, Joe. I feel you. Know, I feel sorry for these people. You bring a thing up, and it's like, no, I understand. You got to finish your thought. I don't expect you to stop midway, but then it goes all on right. longer. But anyway, don't do it no more. Uh, help me, Lord. <laughs> Uh, do any expect? of you own a 4K Blu-ray player? Nope. I'm not talking. Oh, stop. Don't, don't no, exaggerate. No. The thing is no. that uh, I do not yeah, own a 4K Blu-ray player, and I don't want one. And I, and people are going to say one day, he said he wouldn't get one. He got one. Die. But anyway, uh, what's going to happen is if I'm forced into it, then I'll have to get one. But, meaning if one day they stop making Blu-ray discs, which I don't think they're going to stop making those or before they stop 4K discs, if there's any reason, if they put a movie out, like say you just mentioned Godzilla Minus Zero, they put it out in 4K, they don't put it out on Blu-ray anymore. Yeah, then I'm going to have to get a, a 4K player for right. that reason. But other than that, you know, no. Yeah, That's no. what they're going to do. No. Little by little... No, no, 4K is still sells about a third of what Blu-rays sell, which sell about half of what a DVD sells. So we're so we're still a long way away from that. And you see imperfections that you would wouldn't normally see. You, you, you know, uh, it's too well, clear. Yeah, there's that too, and a lot of people yeah. that have 4Ks, they say, look, some of them look amazing, and some of them not that big a deal, different. Right. Even the people, even the people that like it, say that. Yeah, so right. I say, well, then what's the point? I'm fine. I mean, Blu-ray is is amazing, and I, I've got news for you. DVDs are looking good on my system now. But anyway, uh, I don't know anything about the new Mickey Mouse horror movies. No. Yeah, they announced it this morning because, as as you may know, Mickey Mouse went in the public domain as of January first. Oh, so that's um. Probably. So they waited. I think the movie's done. And they they waited till the first day after the new year to make an announcement that we've made a Mickey Mouse horror movie. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Joe will buy it, right, Joe? <laughs> Joe <will laughs> sure, <buy it. laughs> sure. Uh Wes, uh let's just say Wes, that's that's uh we we, we may be on a similar page. But uh other than that, um let's see. I don't own a 4K player yet, somebody said, Glenn. Yeah. If you're into monster movies, all the higher resolution means it's more zippers on the suits that you see. Yeah. Yeah, well, stuff like that, and strings and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah I'm, I'm Blu-ray. I mean, I have the two Thunderbirds movies on Blu-ray, and I will tell you that you can see every string. <laughs> I don't love it. That's just blue ray. I can't imagine on 4K. <laughs> they look like ropes, probably on 4K. <laughs> uh, well, let's hope if everything goes as smoothly as it's been going, we'll be all right with that. Rome loves Dan. It's called Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Mickey's Mouse Trap. It may, might be made by people that made the Winnie the Pooh horror movie. Yeah, I think it's already done. I think it's already done. They just couldn't announce it or keep it under wraps till the public domain thing hit. What you hit? Uh, yes, I did watch the Winnie the Pooh horror movie, and it's on my channel. Look it up for if you want to see my review of it for what it is or what it isn't. <laughs> How was that Winnie the Pooh horror movie? Did you, you have it? No, watch, I don't, watch the I, video, Danny. Watch, watch the video. The damn video. Channel. That's why I made it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe! Joe! I love you, Joe! Joe I love you, Joe! <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, no, but uh, yeah, it's whatever. You know, I got it. and uh, I, don't, I don't, actually I don't have the movie. Uh, Somebody, somebody burned me a copy of the movie. Oh! And then it's a matter of if I'm gonna, if you know, if, if I want to up, if I want to own it or not. I haven't decided yet. Let's put it that way. Probably will. And there's gonna be a yeah. new one out. Joe, you, you got a burnt copy. Why would, why would you want to buy it again? Because it's not real. <laughs> it's real. It's on a disc. No, 
Uh, no, uh, not, a, not a burned copy. I want the real thing with the cover and the artwork and all that stuff. Joe. Yeah. Joe. Uh, it's, a, it's a good movie to show your, your kids. Did your friend, the Elvis fan, from back in the day that you've made videos on, also share your love of movies? Um, yeah, he liked yeah. a lot of... He wasn't not as much as me, but he liked a lot of the movies. The same kind of things, you know. But not as, as many as... Not as much as I did, but... Can I say something? Uh, so, or something. If, if anybody wants to see Elvis Presley, all you gotta do is go to me, Mr. Mayo, record store reality, and you'll see Elvis Presley. Joe even got a scarf. Yeah, yeah, I met Elvis yesterday a few years ago. Yep. Watch that video. Yeah. No joke. Uh, and I don't know. I, I still say DVDs, I guess, outsell and all this kind of stuff. They do. I, they still two to one. Know. It's It's up to two to one about now, but still, that's. But I don't see them even, but like we said with the Maybe Stop and Blue one day, I, it seems like they don't, it seems to me they don't make, if you want to get a new movie on DVD, I don't know if they have them on DVD. Do they make Yeah, them? No, they do. They still, like they still, like they still sell two to one. Uh, every movie, Walmart, Walmart doesn't get everything on Blu-ray, but they get, they everything they stock, but they get it on DVD and they get some Blu-rays. And that's the way it's been for a long time and I don't see it changing. All right, let's. All right, so let's do this now. Okay, the out of towners. Would you please find the movie The Out of Towners, starting the clock now? Okay, I'll go for mine, Danny. Let's go. Get your movie The Out of Towners, Danny. No, I don't. Ha I don't have that movie. I like that movie. <laughs> Jack Lemon, I think. I, I, don't I, I, I don't have it either, so I can't. I can't go get mine either. You don't have it either. Yeah, I, I seen that on TV one day. It was funny as hell, but I don't have it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I have buy, it either. I can't. Last year, I didn't buy one DVD or one CD at all. Last year. Is that fast that enough for you? Yeah, that that's was a lightning movie. fast. That's it happened good. to be right in the front row of the O's there. Even the apartment is a movie. That's a good movie. Oh. You know, this is the a apartment good is my favorite Billy Wilder movie. I think. That's your I favorite? Love the that's apartment. This is an example right here. This movie. It's on a DVD. I love this movie. I want it on a Blu-ray. I want an, <laughs> I, I want an upgrade of it. What are you laughing at? You know, if you appreciate the art, no, you want an upgrade. No, John, let me ask you a question. Let me ask yeah. you a question. Why do you need to, to upgrade it? Two reasons. I'm not going to answer reason. that. If you don't know the reason to upgrade, because it's an upgrade. That's why I need to upgrade. <laughs> I'm not being a wise guy. I'm a, but Seriously, you, you, so can't you understand the, the concept? Like many people don't understand that everybody's different. You, you, you don't. You, I see some of your DVDs, and I'm like, that's an old snapper case from 1997. That thing's got looks ancient. There's a lot of it, but so it works. I don't like the way it looks. I like that prefer when they up when they do a high definition. It's, it's it. just, it's just funny, Joe, that you're opposite with movies and records. That to me no, is I'm funny. Not. Records, not yes, all. you are. You want no, original records. But no, you I'm want not. the newest movie. <laughs> I am absolutely not. Okay. Uh, what are these things here? What are these? Are these upgrades? They're upgrades. That's not Did a I record. The that's, a, that's a CD. That's not a record. Did I buy the, the red and the blue? Joe, no, Joe, you're on the wrong channel. Joe, Joe. Did I buy the red and the blue albums? The new ones? Yes, I did. Yeah, but but okay. Anyway, you, like, let's say, let's say you want the Kinks Lola album. You want an original. You don't want a twenty twenty one. In a case like you that, want... but so, but so what? We're talking about apples and oranges here. This we're talking about apples. You're talking. Well, I, I I I wasn't. I just said I think it's funny that it's funny you're opposite on what you want for those two things. That's all I said. I didn't say it was no, good no, or I'm bad. Gonna, I'm going to keep being passionate in my answers, and I'm going to say I don't think it's different at all. One is visual. One is audio. I don't see the difference at all. I like a visual picture to be improved. What can I tell you? Joe, if you ban anybody, ban Tim first. Okay. Uh, I, don't ban, I don't ban people for disagreeing with me. I love you, you, give Joe. give a lot of ammunition to people. Boy. Yeah. But be that as it may, I was going to finish, if you just would allow me to, the <laughs> fact that, uh, you know, if I push to put this on my player, though, this DVD, it may look fantastic as it is. 
I just got done saying a little while ago, right, that sometimes the DVDs are looking good. I did say that, didn't I? Remember me saying that a few moments, 10 minutes ago? Yeah. So, you, you know. Can adjust, you can adjust the TV, too. But I don't you know. There's, but there's a thing. There's a whole bunch of things, you know, you got to understand. First of all, I've told you this the other day when we talked about it. Sometimes, depending on the mastering, there may be a lot of scratches. There might be dirt. They, may, they didn't remaster them. I know it's not the format. They you know, that matters. It's the print. Yeah, um, and, and, and the 70s movies, a lot of 70s movies, and I'll include that one, were filmed to look ultra, like, realistic. You know, to film to look a little gritty, a little dirty. The colors aren't that bright. They were That was right. a thing going on in the 70s where they wanted things to look realistic. So it's not going to look like a modern-day film, even on Blu-ray, because it wasn't shot like a modern-day film. Well, those are exceptions, but... The, you know, like, a lot of these movies, probably <laughs> poor quality, you know? You can't find the uh, uh, Blu-ray. But I'm most happy. of those are, most right, of those are look, really good, Why actually. is this a big argument, okay? It's, yeah, it's, I'm glad you're happy. Okay? It, this, is a, this is a discussion, no argument. I don't argue. I only argue with my wife. Argue, and by the way... By the way, argument doesn't always mean like a, a nasty battle. It means you can make an argument just talking. You know, it's, it's, an, it's called, you know, argument. People think it's ah, an argument. No, argument, you could just be talking, you know. Discussion. But the thing is, I'm sorry you can't co you can't comprehend this, but I'm sorry. sorry. When I, I want things to look better, and a lot of them do. No, no uh, it's up to you. It's your money, you, you know. Buy some Thank things you. different. Thank you. I'm happy. It so has a couple of imperfections. I'm happy, you know. Well, uh, you know, some of them I'm not, and I could. I, they they remastered the Universal horror movies and did a fantastic job with them in high definition. They look better than I wouldn't want to watch a Dracula VHS well, from 1979. I really wouldn't well, want to watch that. Well, they're your favorite movies, so it's fine. I, if they were my favorite movies, I would upgrade too. You well, know, that's, but that's for any, any movie that I have. Question to. then. <laughs> of course, I've been to horror conventions many. Anybody else? Me no. too. Nope. I, I, I have right here. <laughs> Joe, I love you, Joe. Almost done with the Odd Couple Season 1. Why did they add the opening narrative mid-season? I do like it. I don't know. But uh, it's become classic with the narrative in it. So I, I don't mind it. Yeah, I, yeah I'm going to see Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. I won't see go, go, whatever that is. Ghost, other Ghostbusters? Um, let's answer this question for the 19th time. Um, I don't really know what happened to Gary. All I know is that he hasn't done his own. And he has Not just that he hasn't been here, but he also has not even been on his own channel. He's not doing his YouTube channel. He's not doing his Facebook page. So I don't know what his personal problems are. Um, but, you know, for whatever reason, he hasn't been active anywhere. Uh, I know he's still around. I just don't know. Maybe he just doesn't feel like doing anything right now and i hope one day he, he you know when he gets it together that he you know he'll be going around and making his videos because it's been three months on his own channel uh, you know if you look on i think on youtube there hasn't been a video there in three months so there you go uh uh john ritter phil What's the John Ritter film? Oh, Stay Tuned. The movie Stay Tuned. I don't know that movie. I, I don't know the know other that one that I like. Either. I don't know it either. I forget and, the name of the one that I like. MC, the dollar store is near me. Have stopped carrying movies. They still have what they had, but they haven't gotten new movies in in like six months at least, which is terrible because I used to love going in there and seeing what they, I could find. I've never seen DC Cab, but uh, I know I heard somebody recently who has. <laughs> yeah, Sir James. Yeah, Sir James. Sir James is talking about. I heard him mention that. Morning. I heard him mention it. Uh, no Beatles talk here, Carter, unless it has to do with uh, a movie. <laughs> yeah, how am I funny? How am I funny? 
I tell you, I'm passionate, folks. That's the way it is, bud. Hmm. You don't have to be sorry. I'm just telling you that we don't talk about it here. Yeah. Get enough of that on the other channel, right? You need a break once in a while. Uh, I'll take your word for it. No, it is. I remember when that came out, late 70s. Is he still alive? You got this movie, Danny? No, I don't have it. Oh man, it's great. I don't even I watched it. One of the few movies I've watched like quote unquote streaming. I think I watched it on Tubi. Last year sometime, I think. Uh you know, I never saw Hearts of Fire. I always wanted to see that. But I don't know if that's like a, a film you, you, you can't find it anywhere. It must it must show up on on YouTube or something, but you don't really yeah. can't find it. No, it was for for a long time. It was at Big Lots, which tells you that you know it's out of print and now it's really you had it yeah. There? But that was a year. That was a bunch of years ago. That was maybe ten years ago. It was at Big Lots all over the place. But that tells you that it's probably gone. I think I've had this question a dozen times too. Uh, Birth of the Beatles, I think, is I don't know. None of those Beatles bios except Backbeat are much to me. No, but uh, yeah. You know, Birth of the Beatles, it was okay for its time. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it was a made-for-TV movie. Let's start with that. But it was made for British TV. Because I think, they, I think they, they they put it in a theater. They also made a theatrical out of it, too. Maybe they did. Because cause there's, there's nudity in it, which, of course, didn't get shown on American TV. But, you know, they could have nudity in British TV, so... But it was originally made for TV. So. I still have to see the first uh, Amer the American Godzilla vs. Kong that came out a couple of years ago. I have it on a on a Blu-ray. I have to watch that one first before I see the new one. You know, I'm still like Leary. I don't like watching the American Godzilla movies, but um, I might give that one a chance. And you know, and the original, whatever they call it, because <laughs> there's a lot of. <laughs> I'm not talking about King Kong versus Godzilla from Japan from '63. I'm talking about um, the Kong Godzilla versus Kong that they made a few years ago, 2020s. So, talking about big lots, I got this. Oh, you got that? Let me see that. Wow, you got that at you, Big Lots? I have that. that. I bought that at Big Lots. Hey, tell me, guys, <laughs> does that have the one with the ladybugs episode on it? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna I, have yes. to get that. Then I get all the big lots. I think. I think. I think. It, I. I'm. I, I'm not a hundred percent. I think it does. I get them mixed up, but I. I. It, I think it does. It has I lots think, of commentaries, which is cool. I despise the Godzilla 1998 piece of crap with every fiber of my being, Matthew Broderick. That is not Godzilla. It never will be Godzilla, and it's a joke, and I hate it. How's that? Um, I went to the theater for that abomination, and uh, that's how I feel about that one. <laughs> What's going on, this, Danny? This is a nice collection. What is on that one? 20 movies. Okay, <laughs> that's I'm that's gonna, gonna be as real. early, that's, it's gonna be as early stuff. Yeah, you probably can't see it. No, public, no, we can't see it. But the public yeah. domain stuff. Yeah, the Gamera movies are fairly terrible, but uh, when I'm in the, the kind of a mood for those cheesy, silly, kitty movies, I have that. Yeah, I, have no, those. I can't. I can't get through the Gamera movies anymore. I I used to be able to. Now it's tough. You know, Joe. If you go to Big Lots, if they have a lot, I found streets of San Francisco there. I found a lot of nice stuff there, and very reasonable. Mine's you know? down to nothing right now. I went there today. Well, I'm wondering, something. how long ago did you get that Petticoat Junction? Uh, that was the, a couple of years ago, Danny. How, how long did you get yours? This one here, I, I got it last summer. Oh, uh, well, I, I got mine like a year before that. Yeah, well, you know. The store is in Middletown, New York. I don't know. But, yeah, it was last summer. I have yet to see Kong Skull Island also. I haven't seen that either. 
I like Pinnacle Junction. That's a good. That was a good show. I I, I grew up with that stuff. Me too. I, I was a, I was a kid when that stuff came out. You know. That's when I first realized I like girls when I watched that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Beverly Hillbillies is another good show I like. Not every episode, mostly. You know. Yeah, they used to put them on bookshelves, pain a pain with all the dust. Put them in totes. I never put them back up. They're in sleeves now. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I kind of thought. Believe it or not, I love that King Kong. That's you know, that's a terrible suit, a terrible looking Kong. And for whatever reason, probably childhood nostalgia, nothing more. I love that movie, and I love uh, that look of Kong in there. I got to tell you. Hmm. It's a good word, folks. Yeah, I was looking at your movie list. And, you, and one movie I, I seen, I'm surprised that you have, is Cannibal Holocaust. I don't have that. You don't have that? Where did no. I see that? Not on my list. I seen that on, on YouTube, so what are the streams? What am I? It wasn't. It wasn't yours. I don't have it. I don't have it. No. No, sir. Because that that movie, I heard the parts were bad, you know. And King Kong versus Godzilla is my favorite Godzilla movie as well. The old one. No, I wish I did because I'd watch it. Watch it a lot, actually. No, no laser disc. Never, never had one. No, I've never even seen. Oh, I saw laser disc once a long, long time ago. I've seen one copy. I've seen many video disc versions, but you know that doesn't do me any. There's the doll. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> there's it's a resemblance. Son. Slight resemblance. Yeah. Hey. Joe, Joe, Joe. <laughs> I'm gonna say you, Joe. Slight resemblance. No, yeah, Chucky. They go, I but, like those movies. Even Puppet Master. Puppet Master movies. By the way, yep. I, I do like King Kong Escapes, by the way, a lot. And Paul Free, I like the dub version of that. Some of them I love dubbed. English dubbed. And that's one I got to have it dubbed. Especially with, with Paul Free's as Doctor Who. Pong! Sounds like Burger Meister Meister Burger is the evil Doctor Who. Kong, dig Kong. Uh, recently sold a copy of Cannibal Holocaust on eBay. Yeah, I like to say something about the people who made that film. I hope they're all gone. Uh, I don't think Godzilla's son ever grew up. Not in the not in the sixties movies, but I think the one they did it. They tried it again in the nineties, and I think that one grew up. Son of Godzilla. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't get the original dubs. Some, some, some. In some places, you can get the original 1960 dubs, which are, which are fun. But then most of them now they have modern ones redubbed in English, which are not as good. You know, they talk like, you know, I can't, like, yeah, it's Godzilla. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, awesome. It's Godzilla. Well, you got to be woke. You can't have a non-Japanese person sounding Japanese. Remember, that's they used to wrong. speak English, but they had like a slight yeah, yeah. Asian that's, dialect. That's wrong. You can't do that. Ridiculous. Music stars in movies series on my movie channel. Oh, look at this. Big Lots, 15 bucks. Was yep. it 15? Yep. Yeah, $15. I got to get over there. I wonder if they have anything. Three, left. three seasons. This show, this show was excellent. This is a great show. Right there. $15. Uh, listen, Lucky Jackson, I just found out about that. I didn't know about that, but somebody was talking about it. Yeah, I heard on the news this morning, actually. Um, 
On the yeah. news? Yeah, no, it was actually on the <laughs> news. Because because it was announced, you know, the first day they could announce it after the public domain, Mickey Mouse went public domain. That's why it made the news. You know, because it didn't take them long to, you know. Yeah, these are the ones I'm talking about, right? I have those as well. Um, the, the ones that came out, I don't know if it was the 2000s or the 90s, but whatever it was, the Columbia ones, Sony, the Sony ones. Yeah, they're not really the original 60s dubs, but some of them you can still find with the original dubs. You can get King yeah. Kong versus Godzilla dubbed in uh, the way we remember it. You can get, oh, this is Godzilla versus Mothra is on one of them. And I think Godzilla, well, the titles get crazy. Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, first one. First time Ghidorah appears. I think you can get those. But some of the other ones you can't. And one of them you, people really want from the, who grew up with them, is Godzilla versus the Smog Monster, the original <laughs> dub. Because that has them singing Save the Earth. Uh, hit the protest song. I know they're Danny's favorite movies, the Godzilla's. He's got a whole collection. No. You, you know, <laughs> I, I feel sorry for, for those monsters that kill him at the end. Like King Kong, every time we, we die like that, I, I get tears. In that for the first King Kong movie, I, I, I you do feel sorry for him, no doubt. Yeah, but the guy wasn't. Know. He was pretty, pretty like horrifying through the whole thing. He wasn't too nice in the whole thing, you know. I mean, he knocked the guys off, shook the guys off the log, killed them, <laughs> and all this stuff. Maybe, that girl put that girl to the monster. It was beauty killed the. That's beast. right, beauty killed. <laughs> How could you even say that? <laughs> it wasn't the. Plane. It wasn't the airplanes. No, it wasn't. It was it was Beauty Killed the Beast. <laughs> That's a great movie. I gotta say, even though it's a little puppet, I do like. I do like. It's a little movie. puppet. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing like though how they make those films. Fascinating. I still got I, Godzilla: Final Wars is one of the ones I have not seen yet. But I hear so many mixed things about it. You know, I've heard good and bad. So I'm going to see what I think one of these days. Whenever I get through the rest of the Godzillas, I want to go through the whole series. I don't know uh, parts of the movies. Uh, the, no, I'm never, going to I'm never going to show parts of the movies, no. I'm not going to do that. First of all, it's copyright hell. Showing yeah. scenes from the movies. So I, I probably would never do that. Yeah. And too much work also. Yeah, my movie channel's got to be, you just want to hear the reviews, you don't want to watch the movie. You know. That's a movie that I couldn't, what's the one I couldn't stand, Ross Thunder? Uh, Dylan. I, Dylan. Thought he, I thought he was pretty good in it. I mean, I thought the music was good, but I don't. I never got the white face. I got that it's supposed to be like a circus or a carnival or whatever. But why are you painting your face white and go? I don't. That was just weird. What's going on, Tats? Hello, hey, Mikey. Your copy of Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster has a Japanese version of Save the Earth. Sounds like this. Yeah, the copy I have too. Yeah, they're not singing. Yeah, they had an English. They had English dubbing in, in, in it originally, and they're singing a song Save the Earth. Uh, you know, we, we need that one. The original 1972 dub of that movie. Hello, John. Hello, John. How are you? Happy New Year yeah. again. Well, if you're talking about Godzilla minus one, it's great. Everybody loves that. And, it, um, you know, it's also a matter of it being uh, the original Japanese Toho studio, you know. So, the American ones, man. Eh. Save the Earth. 
How'd that come out? Somebody's got me on Echo. Why is that happening? I haven't touched the thing. Neither. Um, yeah, I have all the Twilight Zone episodes. Uh, there's lots of episodes. I, I don't even know where to begin with those favorite episodes. I like the one uh, Nightmare at How Many Thousand Feet with William Shatner on the airplane. Um, I love the one with Billy Moomy as a, as a kid. Everybody's afraid of him. It's a good life. It's called They're Afraid of the Kid because he could banish them and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the one with the sun. What's that called again? Oh, the Midnight Sun. There's another one where it's like super, super hot or super cold in the apartment. Time at last. It, it, they, they, they think it's super hot, but it's really super cold. They're actually going to freeze to death, but they're hallucinating that it's hot. It's, that's a weird one. I like that one. Yeah, and of course, I like Talking Tina. With, uh, I don't like Talking Tina. Salons. That's one of my least. I like the Agnes Moorhead one. Where she's beating up the little aliens. She doesn't have a line of dialogue in that whole movie. Yeah. Which I like to serve that whole good. show. And yeah. I like I like the one with the bandages and, and all the, you find out all the people look like pigs. I like that. You know, one. it's so hard. Like I watch something like that now and I say, Were people really fooled by that back in the day? Like, didn't you know what was gonna happen? You know, did she you got you know, but I guess that's how it was then. Same thing with Psycho. I watch Psycho now, and I'm like, did people really not know that he was the guy? He was, her, he was his mother. Like, yeah, who knows? I, I tell you, with the Twilight Zone, the theme song is, is creepy as hell. Today, yeah. it, it even creeps me out. And if I go outside in the dark and I turn that on, I'd run. Is that some creepy? Four notes. Four notes on the guitar. Creepy as hell. Yeah, I agree. And you got the Twilight Zone with Art Carney. I'm guessing you're talking about that one. Yeah, there's 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 so many that I like. I mean, the, the, yeah, I like most of them. Um, yeah, you know, there's very few that I don't like. Save the Earth. I like the one with the spaceship. It says U.S. Air Force. Those those little robots. They they uh they go up to this lady in the house, they terrorize her, and she tries to kill them. And at the yeah. end, yeah, that's the Agnes Moorhead. That's the Agnes Moorhead yeah. episode. Oh, that's yeah. for, oh, okay. Bewitched. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, yeah. Cool. That's the Agnes Moorhead episode. The giants. She doesn't have a line in that. She doesn't speak. She grunts. That's the most she does. Right. She grunts. And it was it was the U.S. Air Force all the time. It, some of the shows were great. Yeah, they did that on purpose because she was the alien. You expected her to be the human, and she was actually the alien. So that's that oh, was yeah. the whole point of that one. I like a lot of them, man. I, can't, I don't know where to stop. You know, so you go on forever. And you got yeah. Jack Klugman as playing playing Jonathan Winters in pool, a game of pool. Yeah, there's, there, there's, there's so many. I even like, the, do you guys, a little trivia, do you guys know the one Twilight Zone episode that they didn't make, but they aired it as a Twilight episode? Incident at Owl oh, Creek Bridge. Yep. No, I don't. Yep, and I like that one, actually. Yeah. I didn't know that. I saw yeah. that once as a film in school. I saw it as a film in school, too. It's yeah, a it French even, film. It's not even American. You'll yeah. notice that's another film with no, there's no dialogue in it. It's, it's yeah. There's no dialogue in that film. It's French. I mean, that's right. That's a good movie. And uh, they used it, then they used it for Twilight Zone. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, I guess Rod Serling was asked. It won like prizes in France as a short, and Rod Serling was asked, and he, he screened it and said, absolutely. So, you know. I like the one with William Shatner with the, I don't know if this is the one, the, with the William Shatner with the fortune telling. Yeah, in the machine. diner. He's yeah. in a diner. And he's obsessed by this by this thing. 
he, he keeps pulling these tickets out and then it's telling yeah. them. That. Yeah. There's there's so many. Yeah. Ninety percent of them are really good. There's only a few that aren't that great. Yeah, we were talking about this one before. Yeah, that's that's the uh, I have a holder, I guess it's called. Yeah. Um, it's like another tip off if you know the title before it comes on. I would really know like what that was, you know. I have the beholder is the title. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And then you see these guys with you don't you can't see a look at the doctors either the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So well we you know, we weren't we back then we weren't uh, desensitized and overburdened with like so many of these cliches yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean the, all this Cliches had to start somewhere, you know. Yeah, um, that's it. And they, a lot of them came from the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Good stuff. And of course, after I get off here, I'm going to put an odd couple on. Continue odd couple season three. Um. Yeah, well, I know you got the typo there, but it's funny. Eighteen eighty-three. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't like the Twilight Zone movie much. To tell you the truth, yeah. no. I I, yeah. ha I have it, but uh, we lost uh, Vic Morrow. Vic Morrow. I, I, I yeah. honestly, I I I rather watch the. Ah, it's horrible to say. I rather watch the film of that, but then to watch the. It's so horrible. But uh, well, you mean uh, the, the actual uh, accident? Yeah. yeah, it's on. It's on YouTube. Yeah, it's very sad. Yeah, it is horrible. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, I think Rod Serling peaked in the late fifties and early sixties, and then you know, and I know he didn't have a lot to do with the movie, but. You know, I don't think Night Gallery is that great. You know, they they tried to reboot the Twilight Zone. That wasn't that great. You know, I mean, it, it, it had you its see, time, I, and it was good in that see, time. I and mean, then that's it. I, I like Night Gallery. I have I have all the seasons of Night. Gallery. Everybody's different, you know. Yeah, this one's good too because you don't know you don't know yeah. the end what the I, story is. And nobody mentioned the monsters of do on Maple Street. Oh, oh yeah. Everybody all the neighbors start fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Joe, yeah, you you can remember all that stuff. Okay. There's a lot of them that are just, you know, you you think you could figure out the twist at the end, but you really can't. You could at the time anyway. You know, I, I the one was, where the guy is trapped on, on an asteroid or something. He's sent there because he's a criminal and he I gets like visited one. once every six months or whatever. I and then they that. bring him a female robot, that. you know, yeah. and then Jack Warden, he won't he, he he won't leave her. Yeah, he won't leave her. We, he can come back to Earth and he won't. He won't leave her. So oh, I'd leave her. I'd come back to Earth. <laughs> Get my beetle wings. Well, Oh. Well, if she seemed human and you know, and you loved her, then you know. Yeah, but I like that idea. That's what they should do. Have these prisoners on other planets for like putting them up there. For, you know, um, a lot of good ideas. Then I don't know. I don't know any night galleries. Unfortunately, it's a sin that I don't know them. Yeah, I only, I've only seen like three. I I watched like three episodes and I stopped watching it. It didn't grab me. And right. I hated the little five-minute short films that they put in in each one. I didn't like those at all. Right. I was like, "This is." I don't like the format. Going my way, hitchhiker. Yep. Roddy McDowell as an astronaut on Mars. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see that. I mean, I, 
I, I, John Lithgow is good, but I, I remember seeing that episode in the remake, and I can't remember if I, it was good enough to play. I saw it. No, not as good as Shatner, because Shatner is just Shatner, you know. <laughs> Yeah, he was on Tattletales today, William Shatner. Just did a big a big yawn. Oh, I got about ten minutes left, folks. Oh Yeah, there was there was uh I don't know, I don't I don't think it was a Twilight Zone. But there was a, I think it was Amazing Stories. That's another that's another good show, Amazing Stories. That was on years ago. Where, where this kid got this remote control, and we pressed the button on the remote control, everything froze. People froze where they were. Everything froze. Mm -hmm. And then in the course, of, the course of the show, he sees on the TV that uh, there's a nuclear mi missile coming to the United States. So the missile comes overhead. He looks up, and you see the missile in the sky. And he freezes it, and everything. Everybody freezes. So he had a choice, because he knew if he would have unfroze everything, it would have been destruction. And at the end, the end of the show, he left everybody froze. He was all by himself. You have to watch. It's very good. No, now you ruined it for me. <laughs> I, I, I don't even remember. I don't know if it's amazing stories. Uh -huh. And I don't know why I I never really gave Alfred Hitchcock presents enough of a chance either. Joe, the outer limits, the outer limits. Come on, Joe. I should see the outer limits. How come I don't know the outer? I never saw they're the both, outer. They're both good. I own the first two seasons of the outer limits. I think I don't think I own any of Hitchcock's. I should. Yeah, yeah. I have Alfred Hitchcock presents. I have maybe five or six seasons. You know what I once bought once when it came out on DVD, a box set of Boris Karloff, the Thriller show. Boris Karloff presents Thriller. It's like Abbott and Costello. Oh, Abbott and Costello. It's like Alfred Hitchcock presents, but Karloff presents. And uh, man, I didn't like any of those. I mean, he was in a few of them. They were okay. Somebody with him in there were yeah. okay. But what was the other show he did? I had the other show he did. Something There's weird put it out. There's, Real, there's only like 12 the episodes or something. The, the veil. veil. I have the veil. I have that as well. I never watch it. It's time to correct that problem. Yeah, I have the veil somewhere. Um, yeah, this is like a Twilight Zone show we're doing tonight, which is fine. Because we didn't right, go this deep into the Twilight there's lots Zone. Of them. And there's a few that rarely got shown on television. Um, back in the day, that uh, one there's one I I never saw it till I saw it, lost my DVD set. I was like, "There's a Twilight episode I don't know," and it, it's the one where they're in like a Nazi kind of country, and it's um. He's talking here. We're just talking here. <laughs> you see Alfred Hitchcock? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, season five, audio room. Tim was in the middle of talking here. Yeah. yeah, I hear him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nobody else could, you can forget, finish what he was saying. Finish, Tim, if you want. Well, the, yeah, there's this a Twilight Zone with Burgess Meredith. Yeah, and Tom it's like this Nazi kind of country that he lives in. And he's been called out as being obsolete. And they kill, they, 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 they kill people when you're obsolete. You, they give you like 48 hours to put your affairs in order and then they kill you and you get one last request and I, do you guys know this one this one's pretty you know i don't think so obscure and like i said they never showed it on like when i, I watched the reruns and so what what his last request is is that when it's time for him to die that their leader be present with him so the leader shows up at his apartment and Bridges Meredith has put a huge bomb in his apartment. So he takes the leader out with him. The leader of the Nazis. Ah. 
that's that's it that's and it's like i can see why they didn't show that one you know i get it but it's like wow <laughs> i see said the blind man yeah Burgess Meredith was in more Twilight Zone than anybody else. He's in at least four, I think. He's got the record for the most. Yeah, I'm oh, pretty he's, sure. He's also, wasn't he another one of those guys like he was strong? He got strong or something? Was that him? Or was Maybe. Somebody else? And he, he had, a, I think he's the guy. He, I'm trying to think if he's the guy that had a watch that could stop time. Maybe he's not that guy. But he's in a bunch of them. Jack Luckman um, was in a bunch too. Yeah. Yeah, but he was in more than anybody because I used to only think he was in three, and then I found out he's in this Nazi one. I'm like, well, that makes four. <laughs> Shatner was in three. Danny, what are you looking up? <coughs> I'm going through. That you, can't, is you can't find it. I know. that floor I know. Right? Yeah, yeah, the absolute man, maybe, John. You might be right. In that gallery? Tough. The night gallery? Oh, night gallery, yeah. Audio room. And you got Nip Tuck. Yeah. I have most of Nip Tuck, but I've never watched it. Talking <laughs> here. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Razzo Rizzo. I even got lost in space. Hey, you like that one? Oh, you should. <laughs> yeah. no. If you want to have a good time. Oh, you want yeah. to see a guy in a carrot suit. Watch Hoffman's yeah. face. Yeah, yeah, Hard I, to I, see I, anywhere I, else. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I'm not wrong with that. That's fun. There's only three seasons. That's all. I think I saw a few of those tales from the dark side. I think they were pretty decent. Yeah, that's another good show. Not bad. Tales from the dark side. Yeah. And you know, I bought Tales from the Crypt. I got like seven seasons of it or something. I have that too. We watched the first two episodes and that was it. We didn't watch any more. It's like, you know. You see the one with Santa Claus? Yeah. 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 Uh, Well, that's that's taken off out of a movie. I don't care. I I like it. (laughs) And I like the movie better. I like the one with Joan Collins better for the movie. (laughs) Yeah. I remember those shows. I was younger then. (laughs) <laughs> I'm old. Today, the garbage reality shows. Oh, the fourth, you got the Grammys. Oh, I want Joe to tune into the Grammys on the fourth. Why do I have to learn a lot of uh, people's oh, political positions? Is that why Maybe. I got to learn? On? They had the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, I think yesterday my brother watched it. I didn't watch it. He said it was good, but well, know. this was a fun chat, but it's time to end it because uh, it's that time anyway, nine o'clock. But um, I'm so glad you two guys were able to come up. Uh, Joe, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you are a regular riot. Um, are we gonna do this tomorrow morning? No, not on here, but on the other channel. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, got, I got some cool stuff to show you. I'll give you. I'll give you an example. What? Wait a minute. Don't go no way. man. I'll give you an example. Okay? I'll give you an example. Yeah. I said Wait I got to go. Wait Let's a go. minute. I'll give you an example. Yeah, yeah. The turtles. Oh, great. Picture discs. Yeah. This one is cool. You see this one here? No doubt. Uh, mine is shaped like a heart. <laughs> I have that. You have that? This is I never got the turtles, though. I've, I've never found a copy. Well, you got a little, little sneak peek there if we wind up going up tomorrow morning. So yeah. well, let me get some rest for that because I'll need it. I, the king of I chaos. Got, I got more. All right. Save them for the morning. Thank you all oh, for being here. This has been fantastic. It's been fun. This is one of the better movie ones in a while, I thought. Thank you, so, everybody. Have a good uh, night. Let's do this again soon, as as usual. All right? All right, everybody. Cheers to you all.